Hey Pisces, welcome to today's reading. Let us see uh, what is going on. Wow, look at that. Uh, I've got two of those in your energy today. So blue butterflies might be an important sign for you. Or oh, butterflies in general. Look at that one. Look at the white around its tips. Um, it's like it's being backlit. Okay, so we've got an Adonis blue. Failure is like a caterpillar before it becomes a butterfly. Okay, interesting. And we've got morning cloak. Let your dreams be your wings. Wow. Um, I <laughs> So I had a funny start to today. I normally am an incredibly early riser, like five o'clock or quite happily wake up and um, ready to start my day. Uh, more sleep is just not an option. But today I slept a little bit longer and everything energetically kind of counts for readings. It felt like the universe kind of wanted me to be asleep for a couple of hours because it had more work to do. Um, so we are it's interesting I recorded a reading and for some reason it hasn't uploaded and I was talking in that reading about the past um energy of our lives um we often have so much fear and obligation and guilt around what's happened to us and yet we're just a product of who we are like you know we all make mistakes we all get things wrong we all enter into situations that don't quite work for us um, so we have got riptide tunnel course correct. Yeah, it's really it's really easy to work out. Um, it's not easy. Sorry. Yeah, it's easy to sit in an energy of I should have done things differently. And that detracts from the energy of I want to do something differently. And this is how I'm going to do it. And we have got manta ray mother, compassionate and kindness. Yeah, the really, really important thing, um, Pisces, is that. Um, as you grow and develop and energetically transform, which we all do, um, some of us seek it, some of us um, don't seek it, but it happens to us all anyway. Um, it's just part of the transition process of life. Um, we have more fun, happiness and um, a better life experience when we start being compassionate to ourselves. Um, it's something I had to learn. It's something I had to be taught because from a very young age, uh, as an adult, because from a very young age, um, we are taught that we're only good enough if we meet certain standards. It could be exams, it could be behaviours, it could be um, you know expectations of others. Um, and course correcting requires an acceptance that we are who we are. All of our past is just all of our past. Um, there may be things we're not proud of, but they were mistakes. And if we got engaged uh, in an activity, <laughs> not necessarily um, um, uh, maritally, but if we get engaged in an activity or an experience with someone else, um, it's important to know that there's always two energies involved, um, or us and the universe. So when we course correct, sometimes it can feel like hard work, and we have to let go of a lot of beliefs about ourselves, but they come a lot more quickly, and change happens a lot more easily when we're compassionate towards ourselves. We have got scales of karma, cycle of disharmony, uh, creating new traditions, unfortunate events, and Tibetan far serpent, seeking a higher truth, discernment, a better path, authority. Yeah, the course correct, a better path, um, ending a cycle of disharmony and moving into a cycle of compassionate kindness. Here we had accepting failure because it is what it is and let your dreams become your wings. We we. We failure, obligation, guilt, jealousy uh, are really heavy energies. They're what we call low vibration energies and vibration. Low vibration effectively means it stops you from being true and happy about who you are. So that's what a low vibration energy is. It's not something in comparison to somebody else. It's when you're not prepared to shine your light exactly as you are because you are weighed down by the expectation or the fear or the obligation or the guilt of doing something wrong in your past instead of focusing on the beautiful person that you are and you want to be and how you're going to adopt that moving forward into your future. Okay, so this is um, this is definitely a message about some energy that needs to be let go, um, some... Uh, expectations of yourself to be somebody that you uh like your past can't be different like you can change how you're feeling that like you change how you, how you feel about your past um but your past is your past your past helped you to shape this incredible emergence into a beautiful person that you are right now um leadership and swan in stillness wow look at these beautiful cards um okay let's just see what else wants to come through here oh coming into focus you're okay you're in some kind of transition um see it, 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 the 
I'll just pause there and just get the camera into focus. And it occasionally does that. And I appreciate it. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I appreciate when something goes out of focus on the camera, even if it's slightly annoying for the viewer, because it means it needs energetically something to come into focus for you. Um, you're a born leader. If you're reading that, if you're watching this, you are a born leader. Um, you have had to um, go into understanding what that actually means for you, not what that um, your role models perhaps have um, encouraged you to be. Overcoming obstacles, wow. <clears throat> okay, you can overcome anything and great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. This is a, there's a, there's a, there's an energy of, um, it feels like there's almost like a downtime going on for you energetically at this point. Uh, today, Pisces, um, perhaps you're assessing where you're at, you're reassessing what you want to do. There's an energy of um, trying to grab hold of some of those fears, trying to let them go. Um, uh, it, and that's a challenging thing to do when our mind is uh, very much built on um, a fear-based culture, a fear-based society. Let me get one more set of cards here. It's interesting, I reached out to somebody for some help yesterday, somebody who I have known for a very long time and I um, have asked for help before and they just haven't shown up. They're happy to take, uh, but not to give as much as they want to take. Um, and I kind of know that the answer is going to be no and the silence is deafening. And before I would have disappeared into a whole, oh, you know, I need to bow down. I, 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 who am I to ask something? And, and it's really interesting as you go through this transformation process to say, well, you know what, if somebody doesn't want to shout and help me and they would then want to claim their place in my life as being somebody who, you know, wants me to nourish them. I, I, I really feel differently about how my response needs to be. And this is the course correct. This is the letting go of the expectation that you um, need to please other people. Chariot, moving forward, charging ahead with confidence, say focused and strong. And wow, the world, the world needs you. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Pisces, there is this real transition going on for you. I'm happy birthday, by the way, if it's your birthday today. There's this real transition where you're seeing that life is a great adventure. It's not, um, life is not about using your energy to overcome other people's obstacles. I love this. It's like James and the Giant Peach combined with King Ar the Knight of King Arthur. What a great imagery. And we've got an, a message coming in here. You know, James and the Giant Peach and King Arthur are, are, are very much um, childhood stories about claiming your rights, claiming your power, moving forward into being who you want to be. And um, And if somebody doesn't want to meet you and doesn't want to show up, with you at the energy that you're wanting to put out into the world that you're able to put out into the world then rather than dwelling on it and perhaps allowing it to drag you down it's it's like a it's like a message that um i'm going to say it's like a it's almost like a message of encouragement it's like a message of um of empowerment to say you're your your fiery passion is more than somebody who hasn't got the ability to show up for you and come what may you're you're moving forward you're moving forward you're gonna you're gonna change the energy of the world pisces and people will come with you or people will meet you who have that desire and that intent and that ability and the people who you might have asked or you might continue to try to ask for help or support um, who who can't come with you, you know, if you if you really think about them and you kind of assess them and it's like, is this somebody who actually wants to give more than they take? Um, because Pisces, you want to give more than you take, like energetically to the world, to the environment. Um, and that's why Pisces energy often gets on the wrong side of giving. I mean, most of us do. <laughs> I think everybody in the world kind of gets on the wrong side of giving. But some people some people kind of look like they do, but they don't. Um, okay, so there's a message of support. I think you're in a little bit of a doldrums, maybe a little bit energetically kind of, oh, not really sure what to do. Um, you know, uh, you're in this sort of, um, um, it's like a, a contemplative energy I'm getting coming through. A contemplative energy. How do you move forward? You need help, but you don't need help. 
in some ways you do need help but you don't need help and you do need help and it's like how do I move forward how do I be how do I be myself in a world that I haven't really ever been able to be myself but I know that I have more power doing that okay so let's get some tarot king of pentacles mentor I love that okay eight of swords restriction (laughs) Uh, ace of swords clarity I'm just going to pause that because it's so relevant to um it's so relevant to yesterday (laughs) Um, and the energy that came out so some of you uh might have turned to somebody in the past who perhaps had some money, uh, perhaps they felt like they were a leader, perhaps they felt like they're somebody who could help you. You used to have really, really good conversations with them, perhaps. Um, and as you've become more and more clear in your thought processes, you actually realize that their thoughts, their ability actually holds you back. So they're not really the mentor that you thought you would they would be. And you're starting to see that really, really clearly. You're starting to really differentiate between um, who it is that can actually help you and who it is that holds you back. And and I'm I'm really resonating with this at this point in time because, you know, I have some business ideas that are really, really, really groundbreaking um, and they need funding. And I um, I know that if I approach the wrong person for money, although they might feel like they're a mentor, there's a good chance that I'm going to have to overcome their thoughts because their thoughts will not be as advanced as mine. And I know that. And it's getting clarity on that. And and saying, look, there will be another way. The universe will provide another way somehow. Um, you know, the right person, the right mentor will come in. And it isn't necessarily somebody who just has the funding. Um, because people who have funding then tend to want to get involved with their ideas. And it's like, no, 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 your ideas I will never be as advanced as mine because you haven't gone through the thought process I've been going through. Um, and I, you know, I really detest those programs on telly where business people who have money think that they're so clever because they... Um, uh you know challenge people's creativity and it's like well you know everybody's creativity is valid just because you have uh, proven that you're some kind of um you know have financial capability doesn't mean to say that you um should restrict other people's thought processes it, it's how you it's how you help people it's how, how you put stuff in. i'm not saying they're not valid not to invest in somebody it's how they actually express that that is um uh you know um gives the impression that other people's creativity should be devalued or invalidated. And that is something that is, um, it's not helpful. (laughs) Okay. Knight of Wands, impulsiveness, six of Wands, success. And we have got the chariot again movement. Okay. So things are definitely shifting for you. Um, and, And even though you feel like things are a little bit in the doldrums, it's not the process of filtering out who you want to share stuff with. Um, and, uh the impulses that you have to reach out to people who who like are unsteady you know they're actually going to unsteady you for example um uh will provide you with a successful outcome because it will help you differentiate where you want to go and where you don't want to go so if somebody is um you know a go-to person in the past but actually you're finding that they um that their energy is heavier than yours like it is more stuck in concepts that are um not as progressive as yours um <laughs> excuse me i was a clearing of my throat chakra there so like you, you're kind of gearing up to speak out to 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 contain your impulsiveness just to wanting to get stuff done because the universe is delivering <laughs> it's really really challenging for our egos really challenging for our egos to um to trust that what you need will show up um it's uh it's untraining something that has been trained into us for a very long period of time throughout our childhood throughout all of our kind of education throughout our some of our work lives um, you know, a high five to the parenting who says um, you can be whatever you want to be. How how can I help you? Um, OK, so ping of, King of Pentacles mentor, we got page of wands. So. <clears throat> all right, now I'm just going to get all the history to get eight of swords. We've got judgment, restriction and judgment and ace of swords. We've got the high priestess and clarity. Well, the high priestess and clarity is like get out of your head, go into your intuition. Your intuition will always override your your thoughts. And you know this. The eight of swords with restriction and judgment, um, you're allowing other people to, uh, don't allow other people to 
um, make choices for you <clears throat> with this page of wands and mentor um, coming together there is a curiosity about what you're up to like there is a curiosity about your enthusiasm about what you're up to um, but people are going to judge you based on what their current set of restrictions is so if you share anything out into the world whether it's a project whether it's a, a business idea whether it's a um, <clears throat> whether it's just a, a a set of thought processes about doing things differently um remember that people can only meet you based on the lens and the filter of where they're at and how they perceive the world or how they've managed to make the world work for them. However, your intuition and your clarity of thought processes is very, very, very highly valued, Pisces. It is very highly valued. It's just that people sometimes need time to get there or some people can't get there. <clears throat> However, there is an interest in what you're doing and what you're saying. And the universe is basically blowing the, your trumpet for you as well. And just saying, look, Pisces understands how to lift some of the restrictions on life. OK, we've got the Knight of Wands and the Fool. OK, lovely. We've got the Six of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Wow. And we have got the Queen of Cups and Movement. I love this. OK, so if you have kind of impulsively reached out to somebody or you do impulsively reach out to somebody or you impulsively just like share some of your thoughts, share some of your ideas, because you're in this kind of place of, you know, you're moving forward, but you're kind of shedding the ways that you've been and you're really embracing compassionate and kindness and you've kind of done something. Um, people are. People are saying, mm, you know what? Um, Although sometimes there might be, a, perhaps in the past you've been thought of as being a bit naive, but you're not, you're deep. And sometimes your impulsiveness is just like, you can see a better way and you know there's a better way. But people are so stuck in not seeing a, a better way that they take a long time to come to meet you. Um you're setting out on an adventure to do things very, very differently. And that will come in waves. And the thing is not to beat yourself. Be, be compassionate. If you've done something that's impulsive and you feel like it's set you off, off balance, sometimes we need to be off balance to make another leap forward. Um, and whereas before, like you might have be, beaten yourself up, Pisces, for taking a leap of faith forward, for, for being impulsive, and then it doesn't work out, and you're just, oh, I'm just going to retreat. Actually, you kind of need these impulses to move you forward. And we've got success here with two of pentacles. Like there is balance coming in, there is choices coming in, there is um there is uh and I'm getting here pentacles and money, there are financial success. If some of you are reaching out because you need somebody to help you financially, there is success coming. But it isn't this is not necessarily coming from where you expect it to, it is coming because the universe is bringing it to you. The six of wands is an energy of victory, it is an energy of accomplishment, and and the Two of Pentacles is balanced choices, partnerships, financial, um, financial harmony, people or somebody coming in to say, yeah, I want to invest in your success. I want to help you with your success. And then we've got the charity movement in the Queen of Cups. It's like this is somebody or you are moving towards a place of um, power, your creativity, your determination. Just keep moving in that direction. That's where you're heading. That's where you set your sights on doing this with compassion the queens are all about um nurturing emotional energies um but they're also you know really strong they're really strong emotionally they understand their feelings they understand their emotions and they will move forward no matter what if this king of pentacles over here um isn't the right person to help this queen of cups over here the queen of cups will just keep moving forward you know the queen of cups will find their their right partner a success will be had um so whatever you're at pisces um it feels like you're in this kind of fluxing energy maybe some stress going on for this point of time it's like i want to do things differently i'm ready i've emerged look at this gorgeous gorgeous energy here these incredible energies of butterflies and moths and it's like um you know compassion and forward movement and shedding karmic cycles and don't want to do it that way anymore um but you are a leader who leader who leads from a place of real composure uh, it's not a it's not a, a leadership of arrogance or um a leadership of um 
uh, you know, manipulation or materialism or corruption. You're not a you're not a harsh leader. You're a leader who comes from a place of really, really listening and understanding what the world actually needs. And the world actually needs kindness and compassion, but with huge power and determination behind it to understand energy, to understand the the intuitive power of um the intuitive power of helping humanity to move towards love and away from hate and that hate mostly comes from self-hatred and if you're and if and if our mind is sitting in a, an energy of self-hatred it's impossible to move to a place of peace and harmony um and those are the thoughts you have incredibly clearly. If you do things impulsively and you kind of think, oh, why did I do that? Remember, it's just about shifting you forward because you're going to have to take some of these leaps of faith because you're at the cutting edge of change, Pisces. If you're reading this reading, you're at the cutting edge of change. OK, let's just get some final cards to close off this message. If there's any advice or support or um, guidance, we have got the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Empress and we got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Someone is coming in with an offer um, to help you be patient, um, stay in your Empress energy. We've gone from Queen of Cups to Empress, which is a kind of like next transition. It's the next level up. You're ready to give birth to some ideas. Um, the Wheel of Fortune and Fate is working with you. It's working in your favour. It is going to happen. Just be patient. Um, allow Sow those seeds. Sow those seeds of change. Um, I think for many of you, you need some kind of support, some kind of hand, some some something to help you um, to to birth some ideas. Birthing an idea out into the world requires um, material financial support. It requires um, emotional support. It requires um, someone who's going to nurture you in order that you can continue to nurture your idea. Um, your what you're putting out into the world, Pisces, is oh, so important. Um, as I said, it could be a project, it could be an idea, it could be a business, it could just be shifting your focus towards things that are more harmonious and compassionate and energetic. And in doing so, you're kind of transitioning your life um, and stay in that energy. Trust that uh, love conquers all um, in a way that is energetic, not in a way that is like, you know, um, ooh, lovey dovey, you know, like, oh, go towards love. It's like, no, love actually is the currency of nature it is the currency of how life should be unconditional it's like you can show up how you like you can be an arsehole but i'm just gonna give you some love and send you on your way excuse my language just say arsehole. anyway my loves i'm gonna leave it there um stay in your empress energy fate is on fate is working hard for you be patient okay take care bye